hello, hello everyone. You are watching Point Blank. I'm Yvonne. And I'm Kailing. Joining us in our living room, we have Sharyo Sapari, mm -hmm. who recently graduated from the Management Development Institute of Singapore, or MDIS, and Christine Aquino. Yay! And <laughs> an undergrad with the National <laughs> University of Singapore. A very undergrad yes. with the US. <laughs> And yes, yes. we'll be very happy. As, as you can see from Christine, today we're talking about mini skirts, micro mini shorts, dyed hair, and hot pants. Nice. No, actually, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry, Sharon. We're actually talking about dress codes uh, in tertiary institutions. And the question is, are, are they, they necessary? necessary? Well, well, MDS certainly thinks so. Now you know why. Let's take a look. Well, MDIS has been in the news recently for, you know, for upping the dress code, you know, status. Yes. Status quo. It's or as the so media has it, clamp down. Clamp, clamp down, down, crack down. <laughs> and no, but you, you left just before mm. the crack down. Yeah. Do you think lucky me or what, what no, were you Actually, thinking? I'm not really affected by it because as a postgraduate, I'm only at the uni campus for about uh, three hours each time. And I've only been there for about, you know, Ten times in all my um, protracted four years there, <laughs> yeah, and it's only about five five minutes to about three hours each time. So we don't really feel it as much. <coughs> okay, that, but that's because you're a post grad mm -hmm. already. You are more eighty percent out of school yeah. as compared to the people mm. who are affected. But well, let's take a look at what's been going on with MDIS so far. These may be the coolest looks of the season, but apparently they are too cool for school. This is too sloppy. This is too bright. And this is too short. Most tertiary institutions here have official dress codes. Their usual peeves, singlets, miniskirts and shorts, they are, well, too short. And slippers. Last week, the Management Development Institute of Singapore made the headlines when they started enforcing the dress code to a T and turning away students who came inappropriately dressed. We paid the school a visit to find out why. Uh, I understand that MBIS always had a dress code, so why the decision to start enforcing it now? Okay, uh, we already had our dress code since uh, 2002, but recently the management had realised that there's a lot of students who are not adhering to the dress code. So we had decided to step up our enforcement patrol uh, to police the dress code to ensure that our students are aware that we are serious about uh, portraying this professional image. Okay, um, but MDIS is a tertiary institution with mostly adults, so why the need for a dress code? Okay, uh, I think the basic dress code that we are asking of the students to wear is uh, basically to, uh, to project a professional image. Uh, we do not want students to come in with flip-flops, singlets, tank tops. So I think this is, uh, though it's a tertiary education, it's something that's acceptable by most students. Mm. So what is the, the, the kind of image, like an executive kind of image that you want to project? Well, as long as the students are able to um, project a decent image, as long as they're fully clothed, uh, we do not want students coming in in uh, micro mini skirts, uh, slippers, uh, singlets, tank tops, that kind of thing. We actually have given them a list of uh, things that they are allowed to wear and things that they are not allowed to. Mm. But apart from those that you have already uh, enforced, like the, the measures that you've already taken, are there any future plans, any new things that... Okay, uh, basically like what we had uh, mentioned even in the press, that uh, we are uh, talking to the students and we are giving them uh, counselling sessions. And if there are students who are insistent on not adhering to the dress code, then probably we're looking at a suspension or expulsion but these are extreme measures and uh, I think this will be probably limited out to a fringe view. Mm. So how has the response been so far to the and enforcement? Like when we say in the past we used to have about 45 cases a week and uh, now we are looking at about 15 cases a week and I think in the next month or so probably we will come to a case where we will only need to do the enforcement patrol three times a week because by then most of the students will already know what is the norm. Fair enough, we say, but why can't students wear high heels higher than 2 inches? And why can't they let their hair down? Shouldn't students be old enough to know better? 
The Singapore Management University certainly thinks so. It is one of the few schools with no stated dress code. Neither does the Singapore Institute of Management. As I am said, that they believe in respecting and encouraging individuality within acceptable boundaries of decency. Our students are encouraged to be properly and decently dressed and conduct themselves in a manner befitting of the campus environment. Most students practice self-regulation, and on a case-by-case basis, we counsel those students who are deemed to have dressed inappropriately. So while SIM may not have their rules in black and white, they do expect their students to be at least decent. Is that too much to ask? So, so you're not wearing shorts. Neither are you wearing a singlet, nor are you wearing slippers. What our control room? Are you sure you went to MDIS? Yeah, you do. <laughs> you went to MDIS. You haven't got there. But I thought there was a dress code here, <laughs> so that's why I. Oh, thought. that's the only reason. Otherwise, you would come in your oh. singlet and mm, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I will be dressed for the climate, as how, as some of the excuses given up by the students. And our studio is pretty hot, so thanks, Cheryl, for coming out in your full sleeve shirt and or long sleeve shirt and all that. Yeah. But but you know. You have come out of MDIS, but Christine, you are in NUS. I am. In so, it. what is the situation there like? <coughs> yeah. Um. Okay. From what I know, there is actually there's not really a a stated dress code. It's more of a we are encouraged to <laughs> dress a certain way and look decent and respectable. And apart from um um the explicitly stated rule that you know you shouldn't go around wearing like masks or anything that covers your face or like um any like lewd signs on yeah. your shirt um it's it's pretty much fair game <laughs> so girls can wear skirts as short as they like well they do and um mm-hmm. yeah so while we are encouraged um there there aren't really any measures taken to strictly enforce the dress code okay have you heard of anyone in nus being like counseled because like <laughs> mbis like and, and sim have counseling <laughs> sessions about, <laughs> hey, Chris, about, the, like, what about that butterfly no no because um i think what nus does well is that they they while they have guidelines right um they do respect our individuality as um the other schools have said so you know you have all these kids dressed up in you know very creative and interesting ways but no i i haven't really heard of anyone who's been through counseling for the way they dress so yeah yeah Mm -hmm. (laughs) okay shaw you were sharing with us just now that you know you're mostly bulk of the time out of school so Mm -hmm. it doesn't really affect too much but if you were still in mdis and you know that the time period where they enforced these rules Mm -hmm. was the time period where you were still in school Mm -hmm. how would you have felt you know would you kick up a ruckus would you say no i want my slippers (laughs) Well, I wouldn't kick up a ruckus per se because um, looking at it from MDIS point of view, right? Um, MDIS is not just a university. I mean, they they accept uh, people straight out of N levels, out of O levels, and uh, as well as postgraduate. Lah. So, um, at fifteen and sixteen years old, I don't think they have it in them to self-regulate their dress. Yeah. So. I don't think MDIS is right in um, the blanket enforcing of the dress code. But at the same time, uh, what, what can you do? I mean, they cannot have like one set of rules for undergraduates and postgraduates yeah, and is. another yeah. set of rules for... Okay, you check your IC. Huh? Yeah. Me, are you yeah. Okay, okay. You're, you're no, okay. but I think um, what <coughs> MDIS was trying to say over there was just that, you know, they just want people to look decent. So what are some of the like non... Indecent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's considered indecent? Yeah, what's considered indecent? Have you seen like <laughs> indecent like appearances in MDIS? Well, my standards for decency have been fluctuating. <laughs> so so you can't look at low, 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 low bars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um even for you, Sharu. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> if, if, even for you, yeah. What what would you consider indecent? Well, I guess uh short shorts. Um you know the kind where you really have to watch how you sit. So um, you sound like you know how it feels to wear short shorts, and you mm. and have to watch how you sit. Mm, sorry, oh. that's mm. a whole other program altogether. <laughs> sorry, we're a family show. Let's <laughs> stay family friendly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I guess the the dress code that they set out 
and the don'ts of the of MDIS, um, it does uh, set a yardstick for a certain amount of decency, mm. But you know, it, trying to balance out uh, individuality and climate and uh, freedom of ex- exp- expression, la di da. So it's 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 a quite a dilemma for them, I think. Yeah, but okay, you are yeah. thinking very nicely, very, uh, you know, optimistically mm. on the part of MDIS. Mm. But if you spoke for yourself as a student, okay, which, uh, which I'm sure you, you know, you would, what, you know, how would you feel like, you know, if you were told that you can't, you can't, practically speaking, we know Singapore is warm and all mm. that. If you're told that you can't wear shorts, uh, you know, I would say short shorts. Let's mm-hmm. say mm-hmm. Okay, maybe not short shorts, lah, but yeah. sim- things like flip-flops. flip-flops. They're like fashionable, right? And, yeah, and, like Kavayinas and all that. And people like us the want to be fashionable. are like staples, right? Yeah, mm. like exactly. You, yes, can, yes. you can go from the market mm. to the cinema, to the library, but you can't go into school. But we have polar views on that, the issue of flip-flops and beach wear and shorts and all that. Some people say it's a fashion faux pas, that you shouldn't wear flip-flops. Like going to the market, you go Orchard mm, Road. Mm, mm. But some people say, this is Singapore. You know, people overseas in summer do that all the time. And it's perfectly fashionable. No, not just like yeah. was perfectly fashionable. So, yeah. Like, you would yeah. wear flip-flops to school, right? Yeah, would you? Yeah. I, would you? I would, actually. But it would also depend on, on what I go to school for. Like, if I were to go to school for... Uh, like, submit an essay. Submit an essay to pay my fees or... <laughs> pay your fees. Yeah. They won't stop you when you're paying <laughs> that one, yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to, you know, return a library book or submit an assignment. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I would wear short sh- shorts and... Short shorts. I mean, hmm. I would wear now we know what you're doing. Slip of the tongue. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Now and we know what's in the wardrobe. And flip flops. But um, on the other hand, I wouldn't want to be stopped at the gate and say, you know, you cannot wear that. I mean, here for five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So they they've got to draw a line somewhere. Mm-hmm. I mean, they cannot just yeah. like enforce no yeah. shorts and no slippers. They got to. Refine it somehow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe let's take a look at what some of the MDIS students think. Mm-hmm. We spoke to some of them, stalked some of them outside the school. So let's take a look. Mm-hmm. If you think that you can wear your usual tank top and shorts to school, you better think again because you might be asked to leave the school premises. Well, recently, private institution MDIS go all out to enforce their dress code by stationing management staff at the gate to ensure that their students are properly dressed. Let's find out what the students think about this. I think like dress code should be it shouldn't be too strict. Also, I mean, uh, for people who are just like wearing normal clothes like shorts and slippers, it should be allowed. And like if it it should be okay. I mean, the people they shouldn't restrict too much. I mean, it doesn't look nice if someone's standing and sending you back already and, like, you have to go home and change for something. So that's the thing. Usually people, I I haven't seen anyone, like, wearing any indecent clothes or something. I think students who are pursuing their studies should have a code of conduct to uphold the image of the school itself and to instill that they are, after all, here for a good purpose and they should follow proper dressing codes. Yeah. Have you seen students who dress very inappropriately for school? Yeah, that's right. With slippers and shorts and spaghetti stripes. I think they should follow the codes uh, given by the school. Okay. So the last dude there was saying, you know, uh, they should give a warning first and then the person, the, the victim. <laughs> okay, <that's laughs> <right. laughs> Let me not appear victim. very, you know, they didn't appear neutral. Okay, yeah, the, the student was, was supposed to uh, can go home and you know, change out mm. of his clothes. I remember when he said, back to school. China may have done. <laughs> they don't have no, that sure. in China. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, but if he, I think he was. He raised a good point. He said that you know, shorts and skirts are okay, but bu yao tai duan, you know, not too short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's fair. And he's he's a guy, so yeah. Let's see from the girl, yeah. Mm. Christine, what's too yes. short? What's too short? <laughs> what's too short? <laughs> well, I think girls have a standard of what's too short as well. I mean, if apparently if like your fingertips 
like go past the hemline, like it's too short. Or it's like like oh yeah. Like so like if you stand up, so it's like you stand up like this, and if it goes past your or if if above it, yeah, if it's above your fingertips, then it's too short. Apparently, so this is uh, a fingertip test. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, um, I know. I mean, I guess it's cool. Um, I don't know when 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 people you you stop people. In the hallway because they turn and look at you, and not because you know they think you're pretty or whatever, but they'll be like, "Oh, you're like a oh my god!" god. <laughs> yeah, that's actually quite interesting because MDIS had it stated, you know, not fif- not more than fifteen cm's above the knees. That's yeah, it's about that's about yeah, that's yeah. about that's about yeah. yeah. This One of those long rulers, <laughs> half of that. Yeah, but if yeah. you're Sarah <laughs> and you're tall. And you're raise the TV. Yeah, then that's and that, that can't really apply. I mean, you can't just go for like okay, 15 cm for you, Christine. 15 cm for you, Yvonne. Maybe they should Shout adopt 15 cm. <laughs> you know? should adopt the ratio according to your thigh length or something like that. I guess they just have to put like an arbitrary number. Like. They do. They do. Mm. I mean, it's it's a rule. And I wonder if the the warden goes around for a ruler. <laughs> <laughs> I was surprised. Yeah. In secondary school, I remember my discipline master flipping everyone's hair with his red ball pointer. Oh my god! He would flip, flip, flip. No, nope, you go to the barber. Flip, flip, flip. No, nope, you go to the barber. Oh yeah. yeah, I got that done to me once. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it yeah. happens. I mean, it's like a, a comeback to secondary school. This whole rule that MDIS is yeah, that's thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the thing is that people are saying that these rules, there have been complaints that these rules are too draconian. You see, you know, comments like that in the internet, in the newspapers. Too draconian, too harsh, you know. Do you think that that's the case for both of you in M- MDIS? Okay, for you, Sharil, yeah. as, a, as an MDIS graduate. The draconian? Yeah? Not really. It's the way they um, implement the rules that's very draconian. To have, like, an officer at the gate and say, no, you, home. You find you that offensive? Yeah, I, I find that demeaning, mm. actually. But having a dress code... I mean, everywhere you go, there's a dress code. There's, yeah. a, there's an appropriate way of yeah, dress. Yeah, we have a dress code here as well. That's why Charol, it's... <laughs> it's decked out. <laughs> so, Christine, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. She puts up with a TV dress code, though, which is, yeah. you know, easy, go- easy, easy does it. So, yeah, yeah. like, um, you don't go to a club wearing a school uniform. Right. Although some, some clubs, people do, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Depends on what club you're going to. <laughs> no, if you're talking yeah. about clubs like dance clubs, I recently I realized that people like to go in shorts. Yeah, beachwear has invaded even yeah. the clubs. Like, I think it's the in thing now, guys. They like to wear Bermudas, but it used to be like, like you can't the, wear the any market, right? yeah to the pasar, right? Like <laughs> yeah, but I mean fish. they look quite fashionable. But it didn't used to be, you know, that you could wear Bermudas too. Clubs, but I fashion think. changes, you know, styles change, trends change as well. So yeah, so these students are being fashionable. Yeah. I think or at the end of the day, it's not about like, how short that shorts is or how um, sloppy the slippers are, as long as it's in good taste, like, I think. Mm. Like, if you were to wear you know, really short shorts and, uh, I don't know, knee-length boots, looking like a prostitute from, from you know, Geylang. Pretty or woman. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> So yep, yep. that might not go down well with, with the school. Yeah, then. you're all covered up, but you're still indecent. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they could be perfectly covered up, but yeah, very indecent. That's right. <laughs> all right, yeah. Rizzo TV went down to speak to lots of people on the streets. So do stay tuned because we'll be back with more on what other people think about MDIS's new rules.